Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am back with another video because I really felt inspired to create something uh, that's connected to my latest photo shoot. I've been blessed to have quite photo some photo shoots for the past few weeks and I learned some new stuff and also I've reapplied things that I, I knew already from the past so I wanted to share it with you. If you're a photographer in the beginnings or experienced or whatever level you are in, I think these ones are very, these affordable hacks to improve your portrait photography are so in hand and actually helped me a bunch while I was doing these photos. So let's take it from the beginning. If you shoot in the same place, as me, I have my own home studio photography and most of my, I, all my clients lately, they've just been wanting to be photographed in my studio, in my space, where I'm creating this safe space for them, you know, so they know. And so that's why they choose, because I also give the opportunity, okay, we can go out, now it's getting sunny, it's nice, springish, you know, it's warm, we can go outside as well. But um, no, they want it in my studio, so I'm like, Okay, uh, challenge accepted. Why? Because, you know, shooting in the same space, it can be tough. Like, it's, it's activating your creativity in such a way. And so I really needed to connect, you know, with my eyes and to really challenge myself to see my space differently. It's so nice to observe that with each photo shoot, each woman is so different and each photo shoot is so different. I feel like I'm not shooting in my studio. So I have different setups in my studio and things change since the first video that I did and I, where I presented my photo studio. It's so different. I'm going to create a new home studio tour soon. I don't want to promise, but it will come. It will come and you're going to see the changes. And I'm saying that because I have different sets or like different little small setups that I can use in my studio, but also in the living room where I have a beautiful Berlin wall, so textured and my clients really like it. And I mean, I loved it from the beginning when, I, when we moved here, when we put the tapete down from the walls and we saw what is underneath is the world, old, 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 kind of like lime wash vibes, you know? So this is a very, very impactful, let's say, background that I use a lot in my latest photo shoots. But I'm going to come back to that one later on. Um, what I want to discuss today is that I did such an intro, but you know me, like I, I, yeah, I didn't talk for a long time, so I feel like now I need to get practice and I get into it. Before we dive into this video, actually, and I don't want this to be too long, but you know what, we didn't chat for a long time and I'm kind of like, things have happened, you know, and I'm just in awe how, you know, with spring, um, people start, started opening and I had, you know, clients and I had movement, although feels like I feel not as creative and not as open to share or to to be out there. I don't know. I feel like now, lately, I've been diving a lot into, just on a personal note right now, um, I've been diving a lot into, you know, detoxification, cleansing of the body, which I am obsessed since more than seven years. That's another story for another time. But I've been diving as well into herbology and learning more about the human body because I'm obsessed with it. I feel like we have such a machine and we don't know how to use it. Uh, as I'm learning to use my machine, my Canon is the same way I try to learn my body, you know, and it's, yeah, it's been a passion of mine since I'm a kid, I guess, in a way, besides photography, I feel like I've always been an advocate for learning more. Of course, we always need to learn, um, but to learn things that matter to me and understanding that this actually is it's a very important subject for myself and for the people around me and you know to to help others as well in their journeys of uh, discovering true vibrant health which I'm doing on myself and I'm experiencing and yeah that's what I've been you know diving into and I really like this world this academic not academic but more like you know I'm in a student seat and um I love it and I always try to have, you know, this curiosity of a kid um, that tried to learn new things and it's the same applies with photography but because I wasn't as creative or I just wanted to give myself space 
you know, in between photo shoots and not all the time to create things with my camera, which I can, but then I get bored and I get burnt out and then I don't want to do it anymore. I'm like, ugh. And so I've been just allowing myself to do something else. And yeah, this is one of the things that I've been doing lately. I didn't do as much art as I put or set my intention in Christmas 2023. If you remember my video where I was talking a lot about artistry, it's because I believe my inner artist just wants kind of like a, a pause or a break from, from pressure or wants things to happen organically. And so I feel like, you know, it's been my birthday as well, by the way, I don't know if you saw my short, I created the short in which um, I shared a little story about my latest self-portrait, birthday self-portrait shoot, uh, which is amazing. It's uh, inspired by the 1900s fashion and um, it's been done with um, a very talented stylist. I met her through a Facebook group. I told you about that, yeah, in other videos. But yeah, I connected with her and she wanted, you know, to collaborate with other photographers and uh, to be engage in other new projects and so I said to her that I would like to do this and she said oh my god fuck yeah let's do it and yeah we've done this amazing wow self-portraits you can see the pictures here they are so gorgeous like I have new backdrop colors I don't know if you noticed this and this so this one where I'm here the blue and I have the green one and uh, oh my god I'm just I'm obsessed with these pictures the the color of the background the green with this peach color Mwah. perfect perfect like so good match and the, the light and just the entire vibe i felt so so royal that day i remember it it's been yeah it's been such a beautiful experience let's return to the five uh, affordable hacks um the first one the first one i've been saying it i know i don't want to repeat myself but to be honest i've used it i've really used it for two major photo shoots for this month they were amazing oh my god these women i love them they are gorgeous and they both wanted dreamy looks how did i create the dreamy looks until now you remember you remember one of my self portraits back in the day when i shared like 11 props for your self portraits photography the plastic foil. This is it, guys. I'm telling you, guys and girls, I'm telling you, this is the vibe. This is the elevation station. And I'm going to show it right now. So I'm going to come very close and apply it to my lens. I even have a rubber band. I mean, I can put a before and after here, but... It is a vibe. And then you can apply some oil or some stuff around and you don't need fancy lenses. I mean, you can definitely. So this is the plastic foil. You buy it from the grocery stores. I know it's plastic, but you know, I don't buy it as much. I just use it literally for this. I don't use it for anything else, just for this. I cut a little bit and I use one piece for a longer time, you know? So I'm quite, uh, yeah, I, I, it, it holds for like, I don't know, one year, even more. So yeah, I mean, Amazing. What this does is creating this beautiful, you know, dreamy, misty effect. And I've done so many pictures up until now that are gorgeous. Even my pregnancy photo shoot with Dasha, I shared it here. She also wanted misty and dreamy, gloomy. So this is what this does. Dreamy, gloomy effect made by a plastic foil wrapped on top of the lens for extra gloominess. Add some oil on the edges of the lens, the plastic foil, yeah. Easy peasy, I swear, it's freaking easy peasy. So the second one, okay, oh my God, this one, you guys, it's amazing what I've discovered. So I'm quite of a freak when it comes to composition because I've learned along the way, you know, along my career as a photographer, that I would never believe about myself that I'm gonna be a photographer and here I am today, but I'm happy. In composition, you know, like how I compose a picture and because I took so, I take so many pictures and I, I, I'm constantly trying to improve and see in the moment, okay, how can I now, you know, see, okay, I see this, this is simple. I, I can make the distinction in, in, from a minimalist to a very, you know, more composed picture. And what I've been doing uh, for, since the beginning um, is implementing 
elements that enter in the lens, so they add to the composition. Either, you know, they are closer to the lens, so they are, they create a, some sort of um, effect or like a bokeh kind of. So I was photographing, who I was photographing? I think I was photographing Lorna, yes. And while I was doing this, I, I had this plastic foil and I was photographing her and with one hand I was uh, holding my camera like this because I was taking vertically pictures and then one hand with my, my fingers were on the lens, like a little bit on the edges of the lens. And this created a beautiful, like peachy effect. I don't know how to say it. it's amazing. Like, honestly, it's such a beautiful, it, it fitted as well with what she was wearing. I don't know, it's like everything was kind of a vibe. And when I discovered this, I was like, wow, I, you literally can do with everything. And I mean, I, I've been doing this a lot with plants because I have plants in my studio and I've been using them or like outside when I, sh yeah, when I photograph outside, it's so easy because yeah, in nature, you have so many trees around and you can play around with flowers or other things. The subject is in focus, but otherwise everything is blurry and gloomy and mysterious and adds on to the composition. And I fucking love it. So yeah, the fingers, I mean, it's for free. You have fingers. You just kind of need to be able to hold your camera and then boom, amazing pictures. Let's go to the third one. This one is pretty easy and we understand this. Okay, what is this? Probes around the frame. Yeah, this is kind of connected. I mean, I could have been a little bit more creative about that, but yeah. Anyway, objects in the frame that add embrace the subject. Most of the times I use houseplants. This creates a richer composition and allow you to be creative with other objects, flowers, home deco, and so on. Yeah, 100%. So I said it. I mean, it's kind of connected with that one, with the second one. This one is in particular very beautiful when you create some artistic, creative type of, you know, a little bit more artsy portraits. I am using different elements, you know. If I find that something, even if I have a lamp that's a little bit like mirrory, I will use, you know, uh, I'll place my, my lens and my camera next to it and creates a nice effect. Or like mirrors, I use a lot of mirrors, like the mirroring. Usually they watch themselves or just reflections or uh, it depends where sits the mirror, but with mirror you can do a lot of things. So objects, just, just be creative with objects. I believe that's really, honestly, like not even sky's the limit. It's like, you have so many possibilities. There are so many things that you can play around. I mean, if your studio is super like basic, you can bring, you know, you can bring the props, go to the, to the E-level props that I shared with you. There are so many in there, but yeah, flowers, you know, a home deco or um, leaves, super nice, uh, house plants, like big house plants or like even small, you know, it's adding to that, a pop of color. If you have, what it's nice also, one of the things that I've always liked to do is, Whenever, for example, I have like a super vibrant blue and then I like to have perhaps maybe a blue flower there or something that's kind of connected with the color. I like, yeah, like col um, same color on same color. Monochrome, let's say, as you can notice, like, yeah. And by the way, this is a beautiful bouquet that I received for my birthday. <sighs> okay. The fourth one is the sword. I bought this one online because I saw a another photographer and I really liked, I liked the idea to have something so handy to use it outside too. And very easy in the studio. You can use it as, a, as an addition, like a second light or a, you know, a fill light in, in different occasion. Like for example, now I just want to put more light onto this. You see how beautiful it creates a nice, or just if I would like to, to just bring some light in the background, or I would just want to, to create some nice, as you can see, I just need to wash myself here. Yeah, um, just add something. And I've been using it a little bit, to be honest, not as much, but as you can see, I put it there and it's super cool. Let me just check it. Yeah, so cool. I love it. It's, it's convenient as well as price. I mean, it's 100 and something on Amazon, I bought it. Why I like this one is RGB, so I can change the, the color. I can just use this one, or I can use the normal color, like 5,200, 5, uh, the light, um, the, um, the temperature color, uh, outside. And then I have, boom, some little color, you know, some, 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 some light. Whenever I have some shadows or, you know, I take contour pictures, I can come with this and I plan to use it more because it feels like um, it provides what I need, you know, even to get creative. So, so this one's for, for the creative portraits, you know. What I said in here, a home lamp or a video light RGB that can add to your pictures. 
uh, some color or contour, make them a bit more interesting. This light is rechargeable with the cable. That's amazing as well. I love that. And um, it's very easy to carry it. And um, it's connected to my uh, phone. So I have an app and it's super easy. I just check, you know, the app and it's amazing. I like the battery doesn't hold as much. I mean, I, if I use it like this, it's like non-stop in one hour is gone, but then I need to again. But I mean, look how nice it is. Like you can be so crazy creative with this, like unbelievable. Like even from down, I mean, from down, I don't know it's looking, but from here maybe. Yeah, it doesn't have as much power, but I believe that it has, it has enough power. Let's go to the last one and we are done for today. We are done. The fifth one, because I was talking about the light, is speaking of light, sometimes it's okay to challenge ourselves on the spot and be spontaneous. Think outside of the box and use the light available to you, either through natural studio light or this light or this one, the big one, whatever light in a natural, in, in, a, in a completely different way, you know? Sometimes the outcome is different than original. Always exper experimenting, yeah. Sometimes I do the things that I, or we tend to do the things that we are comfortable in and we know that work. But then when we act, you know, when you shoot so many photo shoots and like, you don't want to repeat yourself all the time, or maybe you do, but uh, at some point it becomes boring as well. And you also, on the moment, you have just a glimpse of inspiration. You're like, oh my God, what if I do this instead? So what if, for example, this light is here and instead of taking pictures from that side, from where you see me, I take the picture from this side. You know what I mean? And even if it's something in the background, I'm going to edit afterwards in Photoshop, but the, the subject changes and the colors and everything, you know? The, the light, it's so mysterious, different vibes, you know? So I tried this uh, with a client of mine, Natasha, amazing, oh, wow. She was obsessed with those pictures. Like she chose so many of those because I had so nice, I created something, you know, because I don't have, a, you know this, I don't want to repeat myself, but I don't have a um, background of um, learning photography in a school. So I don't know the technicality, probably it has a technical term on all these lights things that I'm mean, just learning it and sharing it on YouTube um, as I go with you as well. Uh, and as I go with my photo shoots and yeah, for example, you have a window. I have these big two windows in front of me right now. I see them and I always do this with my clients as well or with myself to place them with the silhouette, you know, and then take pictures. Although the character, like the subject is not fully visible or the face is not illuminated. Or the, you can do it with the, with the light, you know, but to have this like dramatism, like this shadow effect on the silhouette and the silhouette to be dark, amazing, amazing. I love that. Um, and yeah, different ways, you know, different ways that you, yeah, to just challenge yourself. Whenever you feel like you want to do something, just listen to that flow in the moment. I think in the moment when we are doing a photo shoot, um, it can become a, like a notor like, yeah, to not make it routine, routineous, routineous. But to be honest, I've never done it because I'm so like connected to the energy of the moment and every woman is so different. I'm, I swear to you, it's like everyone has her own thing and everyone carries a certain energy and with me that energy gets enhanced or like gets you know in a particular way and we co-create things differently of course so that's amazing but this is it from me today these are the five hacks tips whatever props or things to do you know to have creative and more uh, funky sassy photo shoots with your clients. And please let me know if you use some of this. I'm actually curious, like how, you know, what, what else you are using? Like, give me some insights. Maybe you are using something super crazy and I want to learn as well, you know? Follow me on Instagram, follow me here, subscribe to my channel, all that jazz, you know what I mean? If you are from Berlin and you want a photo shoot with me or you want some visuals uh, created by me or you want to create something with me, just comment down below or like send me a DM or, on my info at ginavadana.com, enter on my website, just see my work, and that's it. That's it. I'm done for today. I see you. I hope you are well. I uh, am proud of you. If you are a photographer, you stick, stack to, stack, stick, stick, stick until the end of this year, I'm proud of you. You are doing amazing. Just keep on doing. You are going to improve in time. It's not that I was always, I was good, but in the sense of, your eye is developing in time with you. You're gonna learn things. So don't get frustrated. If in the beginning things are a little bit like shaky and maybe your photos are not there yet, even with the editing, oof, that's another topic because maybe I will do something because yeah, with the editing is also something. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so chatty. I wouldn't believe that today I'm gonna be as chatty and you know what, I'm embracing it all. I think that today is the day to, to 
give my to offer my service to you uh, dear photographer or dear visual person or whoever is here dear friend um, that is inspired by just by my energy or whatever is the reason why you're here and yeah thank you so much for watching enjoy it all and have patience everything is coming in its divine timing until next time stay juicy